Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, today I have Michael Cameron on the line, and he's an associate broker over at Douglas Elman. Mike, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So uh, excited to get into today's topic. So I want to talk a little bit more about what you're doing um, and your, your financial planning approach to real estate and how you help your clients. Um, but before we do that, how about we talk a little bit more about your background? So talk a little bit more about how you got in the business, please. Yeah, sure. I used to be uh, way back, I want to date myself, but back in the 90s, I was a financial advisor, uh, started with Morgan Stanley and was with UBS, did that for about 10 years, managed about 80, almost 90 million in client assets. Um, and um, so when I got into real estate, I took a lot of what I had learned as a financial advisor and applied it to the real estate market in my clientele. And, um, you know, that's uh, how we really got started. I, I did not want to do the, you know, you, you can do so, you can do the business and stuff. So, many ways, Adam. I didn't really want to do the park bench, you know, kind of advertising. I didn't want to do the, to be a geographical specialist in a certain neighborhood. So what I did was started to take the experiences I had in the financial planning industry and, and uh, turn that into speaking events. So my real niche was going out to different uh, companies throughout San Diego County and talking to the employer base about uh, di different financial planning topics, whether it's you know, it's how to invest or how to buy a first-time home or, um, you know, moving up or moving down, just basic principles about real estate and finance. Man, that's awesome. Um, lo love to hear how you took the, the financial planning background and kind of plugged it into real estate and what you're doing now at uh, Douglas Element. Um, tell us a little bit more about your practice and the type of clients you like working with now. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, we work with clients of all types, really. I mean, we don't have a certain, like a certain profile of clients that we just work with. We work with high net worth uh, clients. I've got a two and a half million dollar listing right now in downtown San Diego. It's a gorgeous condo on, in the Harbor Club. Uh, we work with small investors. I've got another listing in Claremont. It's a $300,000 condo. And I've got an investor that's had five or six of those and is selling those off. Uh, we have a lot of families that we work with in San Diego County that are moving up or moving down. You know, mm. their families are expanding, they're contracting, and they've got two transactions going at once. I like to think and say that we do specialize in those transactions and making sure that, you know, it's a seamless transaction from one sale to the new purchase or vice versa. And uh, that can be tricky. It's, a, it's an emotional time. You know, real estate is highly charged, so there's a lot of room for error. But uh, we help clients manage that from, you know, from the sale of a house to the purchase of a new one. So we, we kind of cover all grounds, Adam. Let's go a little bit further into your speaking because there's a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of executives, a lot, a lot of people listening right now you know, have businesses and uh, get a lot of downloads in the San Diego area, all of SoCal, actually. That's where, where we're based. Um, that being said, talk a little bit more about your speaking and topics, things like that for me, please. Sure. Back in 2006... I had just gotten into real estate and I was thinking, how am I going to make this business work? You know, just like everybody else who gets into a new business. And I drew from the background that I had in finance and wrote, I authored a couple of seminars. One was Homeownership and Financing 101, and one was Housing Market and Economic Trends in San Diego. So spent some time developing those and then took it out to the HR community and pitched it to different companies. And... Um, Strangely enough, you know, just having a workshop around real estate wasn't enough, and I had somebody at a company say to me, hey, you know, there's a guy that's doing that, and he's a financial advisor, and he works over here at this company, and it was a guy that I had known and worked with for years in the business, so we kind of got together and put together a suite of workshops, and it's called the Fiscally Fit Series. We offer it to companies throughout San Diego. And over time, we've just developed a real strong reputation in the community. We work with companies and organizations like the city of San Diego, the city of Poway, 
the Padres have called this the zoo, the wild animal park, tons of biotech companies. <laughs> I mean, you name it, we've been out there. I think I've done over 600 workshops, 650 workshops in 2006. Do it about once a week, and I love it. I actually get out and talk to some great clients. I get to, you know, learn about interesting companies and developments in San Diego County, and it really has been a fun way to do this business. But, um, yeah, we um, just a whole suite of topics. You know, usually these workshops have to do with um, two fundamental things that people always want to know is, is it still a good time to buy in San Diego and is real estate a good investment? We kind of, you know, work the workshop around those two fundamental questions. That's awesome. And it's called the Fiscally Fit Series? It is, yep. And we do it through a 501c3 nonprofit foundation called the Foundation for Personal Financial Education. It's fpfcnonprofit.org. And, uh, you know, that's the company that provides the workshops. Oh, man, that's awesome. I love to hear that. Uh, any other kind of um, trends that you're noticing in your area and in your demographic um, for San Diego, you want that San Diego area? So real estate trends just in general you care to comment on. Yeah, it's an exciting time. I mean, San Diego is really, I like to say that, you know, L.A. is, L.A. is L.A. It's such a huge, massive market. And, uh, you know, you look at Northern California and San Diego for so many years, I've been here since 79, and so many years it's been kind of the sleepy tourist, you know, service industry town. And in the last 10, 15 years, we've really turned the corner, I think. Um, I like to say San Diego is growing up as a city. There is so much development happening and so many great things happening in downtown San Diego, which is really pushing out throughout the entire county that is really raising eyebrows internationally. I mean, we're looking, we're being looked at differently on an international, on the international stage, um, just because of all the changes happening here and companies coming into San Diego. Uh, I mean, you talk about uh, like some of the projects. I don't know, do you come down here much, Adam? I don't make it down there as often as I like to, but um, so so get, so up to update us. <laughs> Well, I mean, we have some of the top ranked schools and universities throughout San Diego or throughout uh, the country. There's a huge active military personnel here. We've got tons of innovation and in startups from tech to biotech to medical device. Back in September of 19, I think it was actually 2018, I think we were named number one for wage growth in San Diego. So we have this huge thriving tech, biotech, life sciences, and education industries here and um, that's just really growing and growing all the time and when you talk about downtown and what's happening downtown um, there's an area called Seaport Village in downtown it's you know it's been a real cool nostalgic place for San Diego mm -hmm. and right now there are plans to uh, redevelopment redevelop that area to the tune of 1.2 billion dollars and if you see the plans, it's exciting. I mean, when you think about San Diego and people say, well, what do you remember about San Diego? Mm -hmm. Most people say, well, you know, the beaches are awesome. It's a, it's an incredible place to go. Um, you talk about Mission Beach and Coronado and some of the North County beaches that are just gorgeous here. There's no really iconic figure in the San Diego skyline. So what some of the visionaries and developers want to do is develop a 500-foot tower down in Seaport Village that is really going to be the landmark that, uh, you know, the photos, the selfie shot that everybody yeah. wants to get. But it's going to just redevelop the entire um, downtown area. Um, not only is that happening, but East Village is getting, you know, some of these sectors in downtown San Diego are all getting their own facelift and uh, redevelopment. Um, downtown, I think we've got like $7 billion of planned development in process. And so it's, it's really an exciting time. That's awesome. So, Mike, I can talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time. That being said, though, before we go, um, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about what you're doing over at Douglas Element, how do they reach you? Two-part question. And part two, if they want more information on the Fiscally Fit series, um, how do they reach you? What's the best way for them to follow up? Sure. Yeah, well, you can go to CameronSanDiego.com. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, CameronSanDiego.com is our personal website, um, talks about a lot of different things that we're doing, some of the listings that we have, some of the exciting things coming up. 
Um, if you want to hear more about the Fiscally Fit series and the workshops that we do, I would direct you to fpfenonprofit.org, which is Frank, Paul, Frank, Eric, nonprofit.org. Um, great organization. It's really, I know kind of people think it's more of a marketing thing, but it really is providing a great consumer service and teaching people about the principles of, you know, why buying a home makes a sense, might make sense and why investing makes sense. But those are the two places I go. Fantastic. Well, hey, Mike, it's been awesome catching up with you on this uh, episode. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you had a lot of fun listening. We had fun bringing this to you. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there. But also leave us some comments in the comment section. Love to know what kind of projects you're working on and what's going on in your world. Let's continue the conversation over in the good old YouTube community. And Mike, thanks again for coming on the show.